Coming up, you have to get your item in. Knock, knock, it's the Intercept team. Open the door now, open the door, do it now. Open the door now. Tasers drawn in the darkness. Show the arms. And Diesel loves the smell of burglars first thing in the morning. Is how you go up there? Hold on, yeah. 11pm And while most are tucked up in bed, others are up to no good. In Leeds, the cops have been alerted to a break-in on a retail park. So it's toe down for some late night shopping, interceptor style. And on the shopping list, a pair of burglars. At the scene, two men are making for a 4x4, four four, and they're not shelf stackers. One problem with their escape route... Six five, we've got a car, we're only five four. There's a two-ton cop car in their way. It's a mass driver and his sidekick on the back foot, but not for long. Just round us, just round us, back in car park. Just round us, back in car park. Despite the risk, the police car tries to keep him penned in. Can't go in anywhere, mate. Famous last words. Ram man's found a way through, and he's off. Um, we're on five four. It's a uh, Super Legacy in red, and it's now making off towards the train station. Another interceptor is just round the corner and takes the lead. Ramming the cop multiple times, then giving them the slip. It's fair to say this is a collar they're desperate to feel. The driver takes a little off road detour in his 4x4. Four four. They're close enough to shine his bumper, so they won't miss him lobbing potential evidence out of the window. The Subaru shows no signs of stopping and is inches away from a head-on collision. But it's not slowed him down. The burglar's taking blind corners on the wrong side of the road. They've got to get him stopped before someone gets hurt. He's led them to an industrial estate. Blind spot to dump and run. He's running out of tarmac, but where this 4x4 is heading, they don't need roads. The Subaru pushes home its advantage and disappears into the darkness. Luckily, some interceptors fly. The north one is the um, police helicopter, like this one. With more gadgets than the bat copter, the eye in the sky soon has the burglars in its sights. They're headed back <laughs> towards Bethley. Uh, so if we can get something to uh, Bethley Junction then, they're going to uh, eventually come out that way. The bad guys seem wise to the ways of the police chopper. They've obviously realised that we're looking for them and they've just they've got to ground at the moment on that old railway line. So uh, if units can, uh, can make the way from either end of it, please. With the heli looking down with its all-seeing eye, it's now a game of cat and mouse. And the big cats drive a three-series Beamer. Chris's Basto and Harding have joined in the hunt. I don't believe it's located for cars have yet, but it has found two people, and as soon as it's in the helicopter, they've um, tried to duck under one of the railway bridges to... Um, come out of sight. 
Chris Basto is taser trained and he describes the best thing about work is bagging burglars. Tonight, he's after a brace. When you get to the pumping station, the railway line crosses over the top of the, the track. Can you tell me when you're on that railway track? They reach the railway line leading to the suspects. But before you can say, who's that trip trapping over my bridge? Well, what's it uh, it's not me. The wanted men break cover, split up, and leg it across a field. Wanted men leg it and mess it. Team Chris is on the case. He's back up this way. Along with a full on police fun run. Six there for the benefit of empaths, the dog man, because in front of our place we have that has the blue lights on and water gate. With the net closing, one of the pair plays hide and seek in a ditch, and there's no outsmarting the chopper's thermal camera. I'll go now in the field, in that field that is up to the ground. I will guide you in. Just keep going forward slowly, but if you get into that field on your left anywhere there, then uh, we'll guide you in on foot. Yeah, we're safe. <laughs> Ready or not? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it is. Right. Two officers in the field, the suspect is just ahead of you. Never play hide and seek with these guys. Just keep going straight ahead. The house always wins. Show me your hands! He's already rammed the police car and Basto draws his taser. But will this run away come quietly? Show me your hands! The interceptors have interrupted a late night supermarket sweep. Six five, we've got a car rolling on five four. The suspects repeatedly rammed a cop car. Just rammed us, just rammed us back at car park. Then made off into the dark. They've gone off road and ditched four wheels for two legs. The chopper has them in its crosshairs. It has led Chris's Basto and Hardy to one of the runaways. Show me your hands! The suspect is in thick vegetation. Show me your hands! Basto has his taser drawn. Keep your hands where I can see him. Slowly walk towards me. Slowly walk towards me. And the threat of 50,000 volts proves to be persuasive. Right, come to me. 6 0, mail it in. He's a bloody mess, but after robbing a shop and ramming a cop, he'll get no sympathy. I'm down here. The lad's leaking claret all over Chris. It's a dirty job, but someone's got to do it. Can come in blood. And the sorry suspect is already cooking up a lane denial. I'm getting down in the road. He's been walking. He claims he was out for a stroll. Um, I'm a sick. In short sleeves, through razor sharp brambles. Just get it all out. <coughs> and after a quick wipe down. Shut your eyes. It's time to face the music. Alright. Yeah. At this moment in time. You are under arrest on suspicion of a commercial burglary. That's it. Hello. One suspect down, one to go. Where's the suspect? He's also gone to ground in dense vegetation, but it's not dense enough. Yeah, the two officers that are running now, that's the two officers. Uh, keep going uh, a little bit more. The eye in the sky guides them in. Yeah, the male is 20 or 30 metres ahead of you, on the right, he's down the banking, into the ditch. Officers, you're either side of the suspect, suspect is between you. And we know how this game ends. That's three, one, two officers are with this male, they are in the night zones. Whether this is another one out for a midnight stroll in a balaclava remains to be seen, but it looks like 2-0 to Team Interceptor. Teamwork's massive, it's a massive part of our job. Uh, we can't do what we do um, unless the helicopter's helping us. Uh, without that, 
it's an inland haystack isn't it, it's pitch black, we're, we're going to struggle to find them, so it's a top job and it's a good result at the end. Well the suspects are booked in. They're doing some spray in here. Chris and Chris inspect the damage back at the retail park. That's where they've collided, both of the cars. It could have been far worse. Just ram just ram back the cops kept tight on him so he couldn't get a run up. And it's not exactly the Hatton Garden heist. Straight through him. Straight through. Brett threw into Moddy Dogs. Take out six, sell them, half price. It's just stupid. It turns out the bloody rambler was the passenger. He got six months behind bars for attempted burglary. The driver was found guilty of attempted burglary and dangerous driving and was sentenced to 26 months at Her Majesty's pleasure. He was also banned for 43 months. The not-so-happy shoppers will think twice about ramming interceptors next time.